Now I'm sure you can all relate to those countless times you've caught a glimpse of yourself in the mirror and thought, damn, I don't know what it is, but I'm looking seriously smoking hot today. And then of course, end up being late for that work meeting because you're just so distracted by how totally awesome you're looking that day. Now all of us watch people have this problem. And if you don't, you need to take a closer look at yourself because quite frankly, we can't help but ooze sex appeal and all that moisty goodness that goes with it. Super fresh, super nice, HB goodness. So what exactly is it about us that makes us so damn irresistible? There are a whole host of reasons. But given how gorgeous you are, yeah, that's right, I'm talking about you too, sweetie. You've probably got limited time before your hot date arrives, so I'm gonna stick to the top 10 reasons for now. Passion. Someone has to have a pretty passionate personality if they are basically willing to come to blows with other watch enthusiasts over whether automatic is superior to quartz, if homage watches deserve respect, or what size is classed as too small. That's what she said. <laughs> These things matter to us, they fire us up, make our blood boil, voices can get raised, and emotions can certainly run high. And who doesn't love a bit of a passionate debate? Give me that over someone who is persistently boring about everything, any day. We know what we like. Watch enthusiasts are willing to put in the work to find out exactly what we like. Maybe black dial skin divers are your thing, or a 30mm vintage classic, not to mention a date at 12 instead of 3. Who knows? We find out what our thing is and we own it. Nothing is more sexier than someone who is just being their authentic self without trying to pander to what someone else thinks they should be. Attention to details. Now watch people care about the details. It's true, we do. A millimeter can mean a lot to us, as can the specific shade of red used on a lollipop secondhand. Or the precise way the lugs sweep down from that steel case. Details matter in life. That hot date of yours will no doubt remember those little things you do, like holding the door open for them, remembering what drink they like after a meal, and of course, bringing an umbrella for them in case it rains. It's all about paying attention to the details. Watch people are the kind of people who pay attention to these details. We care about how we look, but not what other people think. Watch people care about looks, but we're not vain. No sir, we're not. We care about how our watch complements or perhaps contrasts our outfit. We care about watch strap choice and for example, if it looks right with a blue suit or not. Not to mention, on one of our many hot dates, we even look at pairing our watch with our shoes and our accessories. You gotta make it match. We like to look good and of course, keep it super fresh. But we do it with our own style and charisma. We dress for ourselves and to show respect to those who matter to us, not to impress or gain attention from strangers. Confidence. When we go out knowing we've made the right watch choice for the day, it shows. We've all felt that feeling of being able to tech on the world because today we have chosen that watch, which is just perfect for whatever is gonna get thrown at us. That kind of confidence shows and nothing, not even a Mark 1 Enica Ultra Dive with a double lollipop sweeper, is as sexy as confidence. We have a sensitive side. Now all that confidence doesn't stop us getting in touch with our sensitive side though. No sir, certainly does not. Underneath that tough outer shell, we are just as human as anyone else and we aren't afraid to show our feelings. See a scratch a watch or pick up that favorite vintage piece from our collection only to find that it stopped working and we will openly show our vulnerable side. Tears and everything. Brains are sexy. It takes a pretty smart individual to memorize those reference numbers of watches, the years vintage movements were produced, or to even ID a watch at a mere glance. Building, refurbishing, and modern watches takes complete talent and skill. And of course, servicing watches on a YouTube channel, well, that must take a special kind of genius. Yeah. Them kind of smarts are sexy as hell. We love a bit of role play. Now our hobby is basically role playing on the daily. It is what it is. We don't have watches in our collection with a 300 meter watch resistance because we are actually going to go pearl diving. We don't do that. Or Omega Speedmasters just in case NASA gives us the call. It's all a bit of fun, make believe, that we love to play around with. Next time your hot date is wearing a Seamaster, go ask them if they fancy a bit of James Bond roleplay. 
where you can be their odd job and watch their eyes light up and the sparks fly. Oh, you must excuse odd job, Mr. Bond. Either that, or a quick restraining order with a 20 kilometer no contact clause slapped on. Mm-hmm. We love our partners to spend money on themselves. Now watch people are far from selfish. It's true. Why not? We understand balance in a relationship and will actively encourage our partners to treat themselves regularly. Now we know that with each watch purchase we make, our partner deserves the same in kind. And by doing this, of course, it eliminates that dreaded risk of fear and guilt that we can feel sometimes by spending three or four figures on a sexy new timepiece. How did she find out who gave me away? We often have a kinky side. Although watch enthusiasts will have their respectable and classy watch collection on show, secretly, we all have a dark side, naughty side, a side that one cannot speak of, a hidden secret pleasure that we only save for ourselves. Maybe it's a huge 55mm Invicta or a crystal encrusted gold plated 2023 Michael Kors. Who knows? Even the most standard looking collection of Casios or vintage Omegas hides something. We all have a kinky side. Even you, so don't lie. So this my friends is why we are all just dripping in charisma and sex appeal. I almost feel sorry for everyone else. We are the reason people flex with watches on Instagram. It's not a case of, look at how rich I am with my Roly. It's people trying to appropriate our hotness. So don't get angry at them, just feel sorry for them. Until next time, keep it fresh and stay sexy.